Welcome back, my friends. What if wishes came true? Ooh, I have a few wishes. <laughs> well, now you can see if they do when you head to Bay City to enjoy the production of Into the Woods. Hello, I am so delighted to have Mike, the director of Into the Woods, and Sherry, the vocal director, put on by the Bay City Players joining me. Thank you for being here. How are you? Uh, great. Doing, you great. Doing really, really great. It's getting time for the curtain to go it, up, right? It is. It is. It's <laughs> getting weeks. there. It's yeah. getting, okay, so take us into the world of fantasy. We need it now. What is Into the Woods all about? Set the scene. Um, it's basically intertwined um, Brothers Grimm mm. story or fairy tales. Okay. Um, Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, oh. Cinderella Rapunzel, and then Stephen Sondheim and James Lupine created these other um, characters yeah. who all go into the woods to find their wish. Mm. But they don't realize that their wish comes with consequences. Mm. And as the show progresses, right. they learn what those consequences are, yeah. and they learn what mistakes have been made and what it takes to get your wish. So and to live and to live happily ever yeah, after. I'll have to ask you your favorite part, Sherry. I know the music, right? Is that what you're? Yes. <laughs> very excited about. I am a huge Stephen Sondheim yes, fan. Yes. So having the chance to vocal direct a Stephen Sondheim show is kind of a dream come true. Yeah. And the music is absolutely amazing. It right. really is. I know these fairy tales. Is it family friendly or is it more of an adult? It. Um, it's. There's some adult content. Yeah. Not PG swearing. Oh, yeah. There's PG no. There's no. Um, no profanity. Okay. Um, I mean, there's innuendos, but right. really not strong. Um, if I hit a 10, 12-year-old, I would bring them to see it. Okay, I love it. Okay, so we have to know, what, when is it, where is it, how can we get tickets, all the good stuff. It is, um, I got it almost said August, <laughs> April 26th through the 28th, okay. May 3rd through the 5th. Yes. Um, tickets can be purchased online at baycityplayers.org okay. or call the box office 989-893-5555. Yes. I believe it's Monday through Friday, 10 to 2, but there is an answering service, oh, our answering machine. Yes. They will get back to okay. anybody who has any questions. Yeah. Um, easiest really is online, but you have to make sure that you're on Bay City Players' official site because okay. there's a lot of... Um, sites out there that sell yes. phantom tickets. Right, that's right. And it's happened to all of, yeah. really all of the um, area theaters. Sure, Sherry, I'd have to ask you, why would you encourage families to come out, for people to come out and see the production? Amazing talent, mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful story, and every character, you'll find something to identify with. Yeah. Oh. They're real people yes. with real problems. Yep. But we need this now. I love this. Let's we'll get into a little fantasy too, oh, right? right? Yeah. Right. Well, Definitely. thank you both for joining us. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, break a leg to Thanks. both of you. Yeah, so we will have more information on our website at WNEM.com about this wonderful production. Can't wait. Bay City Players. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.